Well, here we go. Andreas Mickelson opening stage Sunday morning. He had it all to drive for this morning, didn't he? But he's had a problem with that rear right coming through the opening stage. He's lost lots of time and puts his second place very much in jeopardy. You can see, sorry, you can see the damage to the bodywork there. The important thing, though, look at the state of that tyre in the back. The important thing, let's have a look here, Elliot. There is no damage. You can see that it's a bit scraped on the strut. There's no damage to the suspension. That is always the risk. The risk when you drag a car through with a puncture is that potentially you can do damage to maybe the hub, maybe the suspension, maybe the arms that are in there. You need to be really careful. The cooling pack here, exposed. That's the cooling pack for the hybrid unit. Completely exposed, but not damaged. Oh, that's flailing rubber that's done that there. I don't think there's anything really too much to worry about. Everything seems to be connected. Everything seems to be straight. Elliot, Torstein Ericsson struggling a little bit to secure that, but he secured the hub. You know, that's, oops, oh, it's come off the, uh, just come off the jack there, but no problems there at all. This is uh, such bad luck for Andreas and Torstein Ericsson. They did such a strong job to get this car into a position where they could fight for the win here today. Taking a quick picture to send back to the team. Just want to make sure that everything is still okay. They've got plenty of time. They're working hard. You can see how hard Torch Time was working. They're working efficiently. They do have time to get to the next stage, but there we are. Oh, dearie me, you've got to feel for these boys. You've really got to feel for them. Such a great rally. It's not all over yet. The podium is still very much there. But it was second place, it was the win that they were going for. Just watch that rear right. Seems to be turning absolutely straight as you like. Let me just double check for you folks what the situation is now then. In terms of the position, that fight for second place. Here we go, I'm just loading, I'm not loading EWRC because there's no reception. Uh, yeah, he did lose round about 20 seconds there. We think maybe a bit more. Um, double check, EWRC results, you can check what it means with three more stages to go. But Andreas Mikkelsen, oh, all that talk about potentially fighting for the win, out of the window now. It's that battle with Elvin Evans for second place that might just be getting a little bit interesting, a little bit juicy out there this morning. You've got to feel for the boys, don't you? But as, who told us this morning? I think it was young Solberg. If you have a look at our morning video, young Solberg said the risk of puncture in this loop of stages is the highest of the whole weekend. How right was he? Josh, we've been watching your progress this weekend, really enjoying your progress this weekend. It's Sunday morning. You've completed the first stage of the morning, but that doesn't tell the story. The car is sitting behind us with some considerable damage. Uh, just what's happened there? Yeah, basically the last corner of the stage, just before the flying finish, we uh, ran wide and hit a bale, which was protecting a tree. So yeah, it uh, done a lot of damage, as you can see, with the, the rear right took off. So. Uh, the pace was good up to that, the stage was quite good and uh, yeah, the trees are quite close in this stage and that's the, there, there's no room for error as we can see here, so uh, yeah, it's unfortunate because the team has been a huge effort, our pace has been, been quite good all weekend and uh, yeah, it's not the way we want it to end. So you say you ran wide, was the pace not right, was there a little bit too much speed into the corner, what caused you to run wide? Yeah, I would say, I would say the pace note was right, it was just a bit too much speed. Uh, yeah, trying to trying to get over the finish line, which was on the corner. So, uh, yeah, it's something we need to look at, need to learn from, and, and go forward. There have been a lot of learnings though this year, haven't there? And you know, these things happen. It is part of the the learning process, isn't it? In general, how pleased are you with the progress you've been making this year? Yeah, it's it's been a very good year for us. Obviously, moving to Skoda and and the Top Sport team has has been incredible. Um, to learn from the people around you and the drivers around us is probably where our paces came from in the car as well. So. No, it's been a good start. Hopefully we, we we won't get set back with this. It was a simple error that had big consequences, let's say. And uh, yeah, there's many places we've ran wide all weekend, but this is uh, this is one that, that caught us out. And, and when you're taking that pace to the level of the likes of Solberg and Pyre and others, the level of risk clearly increases, doesn't it? You, you, are, you can't afford to give yourself margins out there when you're trying to compete at that level. And, and, and that's the inevitable consequence at times. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It's a big pace. It's, it's fast people around and everyone's taking these, uh, not let's say chances, it's just the pace. It's, it's what it is. And uh, 
yeah, okay, we, it was a good weekend up until now, but we still have to learn from it and uh, try not, don't make it happen again. Absolutely, Josh. Um, we've been impressed by the progress. It is all part and parcel of the game. Um, learn from it, move on, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you very much.